Hello, my name is Rebecca, and welcome to episode one of my Neutral Knitwear podcast, a podcast series dealing with all things neutral and all things knit. In this episode, I will talk about knitting's genesis story. But before we begin, feel free to grab that cup of coffee and or tea, and of course, your knitting needles. With that being said, let's begin. Like any enterprise that seeks to tell a story of itself, knitting is by no means exempt from this requirement. One of the nuances of looking at origin stories is determining that they arise to serve current present needs. In recent years, with the rise of the internet and globalization, knitting has taken on new social, political, and cultural dimensions. In many ways, we are living through a sort of knitting renaissance, a skill that was once considered obsolete in the 1980s due to the rise of fast fashion and mass production, has emerged today as an upcoming sustainable hobby and skill that is eliciting widening interest among people of varying ages and backgrounds. Even amidst a deadly pandemic such as COVID-19, knitting sparked interest among many individuals we're coping with the effects of social distancing. What is important to keep in mind is that tracing the history of knitting is by no means linear. Like similar creation stories, there are multiple versions, which leave plenty of room for interpretation. Yet most historians often begin with tracing the first historical records of knitting within the context of craft work. According to scholar Loretta Napoleoni, There is no mention of the craft in ancient books and or chronicles, and the verb to knit is absent from pre-modern languages. The first mention of the craft appears in the 15th century in the Oxford Unabridged English Dictionary. It was during this time that the first knitting guilds were established in Europe. However, it was not until the Renaissance that knitting becomes an important staple in the European vernacular. Digging a bit deeper, other historians have argued that contrary to popular belief, knitting, conceived even in its earliest social historical dimensions, is hardly a new phenomenon, citing the ancient Egyptians, who were well-known knitters, especially of socks. These historians make the case that knitting originated in the Middle East around the 5th century and traveled to Europe with wool and cotton traders. By the 14th century, knitting was used by fishermen to create waterproof jumpsuits for their seafaring voyages. Along these lines, other researchers have focused on knitting's precursor, nail binding, which is a rudimentary form of knotless knitting. Using a single needle instead of two, highlighting its native Its Danish roots, nail binding was commonly implemented by fishermen using this technique to repair fishing nets. Unlike weaving, which requires a loom, knitting does not require bulky or large equipment to produce textiles. This facet has made it especially valuable for nomadic and agrarian people. Yet, according to Napoleone, it's along these lines that knitting was not an invention of the pre-modern or ancient era. Rather, knitting is as old as the history of mankind. The earliest humans needed to find food, shelter, and clothing to protect themselves from the elements. Therefore, one can make a valid assertion that knitting was there with us from the start. In closing, thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Happy knitting and until next time.